This truth fund on his tam o' shanter. Is he free air, a nicht did canter? Oh dear, when there are tunes surpasses for honest men and bonny lasses. When I was in secondary school, I remember the history teacher, Mr Duffy, <clears throat> as an exercise, a memory exercise. He got us all to uh, the class to memorise the first 30 lines of Tim um, which I did, and I've known it ever since I was, I don't know, 13, 14 years old. Well, I think that Burns is, you know, is our Shakespeare, um, certainly in terms of him as a poet. Um, and he's kind of the, <clears throat> the playwright that we never had. I think there's something inherently theatrical about Burns's work, and he was very interested in song, um, was a great song collector and adapter. <clears throat> um, and uh, there's something about the, the wonderful narratives that he sets up, his sense of fun, his sense of satire. kind of <clears throat> lots of different elements in it um, of well basically sex, drugs and rock and roll um, 18th century rock and roll um, <clears throat> that has a supernatural and uh, uh, you know it deals with Scotland's national pastime um, which is drink um, but it's very critical you know, uh, you know it's not uncritical of the effects of drink um, so you know in the tale you know, Tam sees, you know, comes across a witch's coven going on. But, you know, you're not sure whether he maybe actually just dreamt it all, you know, because um, he was lying drunk in a ditch somewhere. You with me? I never talisker, Captain. Talisker, right, yeah. Same again, Walker. Oh, the truth does pass. Sorry, pal, you bad. Three coat, ice water, ice water, and four nips, four eddies, and a screwdriver. I painted the real Mackay. Real Mackay coming up. Pa, he done it. Oh, and these slopes here, son. Three tequilas and lemonade. Half and a half. Double tariffs, get a carrot. I was a bit, I was a, I was a little bit in trepidation because, um, as well as using, um, not all of the, as well as using the poem um, and as, uh, the text of the poem and using bits of tech, other other texts by Burns from different poems like The Vision and The Court of Saturday Night and um, <clears throat> Halloween and The Holy Fair. <clears throat> I also. Um, did, um, <laughs> I also did my own rhyming. I, I wrote fillers um, myself in the you know in the style of and in homage to Burns. So I was in a, a little bit of trepidation um, having that being read for the first time, having myself read alongside Burns, but it went very well, um, luckily, um, <clears throat> and it seemed to be quite a good counterpoint. As market days are growing late, and folk begin to tack the gate. Well, we sit boozing at the nappy and getting foo and unca happy. We think now on those long Scots miles, the mosses, watters, slaps and styles that lie atween us and our hame, where sits our sulky, sullen dame, gathering her bruise like gathering storm, nursing her wrath to keep it warm. I've attempted to put some lyricism into it, you know, the, the <clears throat> there are some verses from The Vision, um, which is Burns's kind of reflection on his own um, condition of poverty and lamenting that he didn't get himself a proper job rather than um, being a kind of poor tenant farmer and a scribbler. Um, <clears throat> and I, th I think there's enough of music and, uh, and fun and... Uh, ridiculous rhyming, um, as well as the supernaturality of the tale, um, to attract everybody. <laughs>